This is not about that sports talk. This is Ralph with Not About That Sports Talk. How are you doing today, Asia? Doing well. Doing fine. Um, yeah. The way last season ended was kind of it was kind of one of the most most difficult of your career when getting blocked by um Brittany Griner. Like, how have you been able to like prepare better, prepare yourself towards being able to take on rim protectors like her? Well, not really her in particular, but better rim protectors this season coming up. I mean, I just continue to work on me. Uh, I can't really dictate. I'm going to take what the defense gives me. But at the end of the day, I'm just going to make sure that I uh, enhance my skills and who I am as a player and having fun while doing it. Uh, I can't really dwell on anything. Everyone's going to get their shot blocked. It's all good at the end of the day. If I know that I'm fully capable of, you know, being me and, and being a great teammate to my teammates, uh, I'm good. So that's how I've honestly been working on it. And a follow up question, like, what are your impressions about having Becky Hammond as a coach as far in regards to like having her as a, like assistant or watching her play on the basketball court? Yeah, uh, I mean, Becky, she's she's a gem for sure. Uh, her energy, like I said, her energy is just it brings us all in and by it, we're all bought into her and her basketball knowledge just rubs off on all of us. So I'm just excited to continue to be a player underneath her and just have some fun. Appreciate your insight and good luck this season. Thank you. This is Ralph with Nothing But That Sports Talk. During the off season to prepare yourself towards coming back to WNBA in your first season that you played since the 2020 Wubble, you got a chance to play at Athletes Unlimited Basketball League. Like, what was that experience like for you and how did this prepare you towards coming back to the W? Um, It was a good experience. Uh, I love being a part of that league. Um, competing against some players from the W's, some who weren't. Uh, but for me, it was good because I just still had a competitive fire in me. I had a desire to still play. And I knew whether or not the WNBA was going to be in my future or not, I still just wanted to play basketball. So it was an easy decision for me to decide to play. And went, played hard. Um, and this opportunity came about. And so, you know, Sometimes things happen that way. So I just seized the opportunity and said, whatever God has for me will be for me. And um, yeah, that's, that was my mindset. And a follow-up question, if I could, um, what would you think about the opportunity to be coached by Becky Hammond, who worked her way towards being a coach after being an assistant for the San Antonio Spurs and actually having to spend the last years of her career with the Silver Stars before they were the Aces? Mm -hmm. Oh, that was an question. Yeah, My yeah. Um, it was great. I mean, it's great to have this opportunity. She's also another person who's been monumental in this league. Another player has been monumental in this league, and uh, the experience that she got, you know, playing coaching under Pop. Um, I, I also got to like see her though when I was in when I was before I got to San Antonio. You know, she played there a couple years before I got there with some of my former teammates and like Daniel Adams was there. She got drafted there. Um, so I used to go down to San Antonio to watch some of the games. So, you know, I remember watching Becky as a player and um, I'm just excited that she decided to, you know, leave the NBA and, and come to coach in, in the W. I hope a lot more of our like great former players decides to start, you know, taking that step. Um, and I think she's gonna just bring like a fire to this team um, and the entire staff just has an energy that that's really positive and really good, like super encouraging, uh, you know, but critical when need be. But I think it's gonna, it's gonna help us um, to, to wanna play, play harder for them just cause they're, you know, good people. Appreciate your insight and good luck this season. Thank you. Welcome back to the W. Thank you. Yeah, Jackie, this is Rafi with nothing but the sports talk. I mean, how have you how have you been able to handle the way last season with the Aces ended from the, the loss of Game Five to the all season transition of Becky Hammond taking over with the coaching position for Bill Lambeer, and then also with, with losing Liz KBG all season to the Los Angeles Sparks while in preparation for the season, and thoughts on the way you contributed to the preseason game against the Minnesota Lynx. So you were a little sped up there. I think we had a little janky stuff, but let's talk Becky Hammond and let's talk Liz Cambage. We're gonna look a little different without a six nine center in the paint. Yeah, I think we're also super excited to play for coach. Um, 
Uh, it's a new offense, so that's always exciting. Uh, just getting to learn the new offense and um, just seeing how we gel together. I thought yesterday was a good example of us just uh, knowing where we're at, knowing where we're supposed to be in the offensive, uh, on offensive end, and um, really just showing what we can do on offense. Uh, yeah, it's a different structure this year. Um, without having Liz here, we know she's a dominant big and. Uh, Last year, our, our game plan was to feed Liz in Asia. And so um, now that we don't have uh, two bigs inside, it's just going to, to open it up a little bit more for us. Appreciate you. Good luck.